Question. Do you know the answer? Most people will answer something like GFR or creatinine levels or stages. Now, all of these answers are correct in a way, but some of the best nephrologists in the world use a better indicator. Now the interesting part. This is not just a way to know how well your precious filters are doing. It also accurately predicts how they will be in the future. I'm talking about proteinuria levels or ACR to be more accurate. This level may be used to reliably predict if someone will end up in ESRF in the near future. Hello everyone, my name is Catherine and I've been helping people overcome CRF for more than 10 years now. And I've met people who were actually able to reverse this condition. And if you know me already, you know very well that I am not going to focus on the issue here, like most specialists do. I focus on the solution. So today we are going to see what really works to keep your protein real levels under control. So very important question. Is your ACR or albumin to creatinine ratio below 30 mg per gram? Proteinuria is an extremely important predictor of GFR decline. When there is too much protein in your in, compared to what's normal in the stage of CRF you're in, it means your GFR is going to decline fast. Now, something that baffles most people. As we can see in this table, the risk for fast decline in GFR is higher for someone in stage 3 with high proteinuria levels compared to someone in stage 4 with low proteinuria levels. Now I understand that this may seem scary at first. I mean, someone in stage 3 may have believed that they were safe and now everything may have changed. But there is a bright side to this. Proteinuria may be lowered. There are safe and effective ways to do that. There is one thing in particular that was used to completely solve this issue. Participants in this study had CRF, but after taking this, their proteinuria was completely normal. We will see what they used to achieve this incredible result next. But before that, some very effective tips to help you slow down CRF and decrease proteinuria levels fast. Eat plenty of fruits and vegetables, grains and legumes. Today, it's out of doubt that following a plant-based way of eating is a must for those with CRF. With the plant-based way of eating, you are protecting your precious filters in two ways. First, because so many fruit and veggies have serious benefits and also because eating more plants means that we are now reducing protein intake. Now, one may think that eating less protein directly reduces the amount of protein we expel. And while this result is actually to be expected, the reason why reducing protein intake also reduces proteinuria is more complex. Science says that in case of CRF, the less protein in the diet, the better the nephrons are going to work. This also means that they are going to leak less protein. And also, Drink water at regular intervals. Being hydrated protects the nephrons in several ways as regular water intake is needed by the body to flush out excess sodium in water. And while water doesn't directly reduce protein you're in, there is something it can, on the other hand, actually remove. Excess sugar and sodium. And I don't have to tell you how much this is going to help and also make exercise regularly a priority. Now, this is a lifestyle choice I always encourage. Science says that an active lifestyle is key for protecting you from proteinuria. And don't forget that even walking at a brisk pace every day and taking the stairs instead of the elevator counts as exercising. And the more you do, the better. One last tip. Consider increasing your antioxidant intake. In a recent study, people with several stages of CRF taking one specific antioxidant had a significant improvement in proteinuria. And guys, I've talked more in depth about what antioxidants help the most with proteinuria in my video up here. Watch it now to know more. 
Now, there is one thing that works even better than that. This is a nutrient with some amazing properties. There is serious evidence to prove that this one can be extremely beneficial against proteinuria. This is omega-3 supplements. There is evidence that taking omega-3 can help with HPP, one of the leading causes of CRF, and also cholesterol levels, triglycerides, inflammation, and more. And there are various review studies confirming that omega-3 may be extremely beneficial for everyone with CRF. The reason is proteinuria. A large review of studies strongly links omega-3 supplementation to lower proteinuria levels and thus significantly less risk of ESRF. Now, this review was conducted nine studies involving 444 participants. What this means is that these results are really solid. For a good nephrologist, a review of studies like this is enough to tell people with proteinuria to take omega-3s. If you are not taking omega-3s yet, I've explained in my video up here all you need to know before starting to take them. Now a very important question, how can you correctly interpret your proteinuria levels? Proteinuria is one of the most important markers of CRF progression. It's usually indicated on your tests as ACR, but you could also find albuminuria. And this level is just as important for those with CRF as for those who are at risk for it. You see, having too high proteinuria in your test means that the nephrons are being damaged. And this is also true for those without confirmed CRF. So if you have been told to pay attention to the status in which your filtering organs are, take a look at this number on your tests. This table here explains it pretty well. What it tells us is that the lower the albuminuria, the lower the chances of progressing to a worse stage of CRF. And this is always true, no matter what stage you are in. So if this level is below 30 mg per gram, you're more likely in the green. Your GFR are going to be stable in your current situation. If this level is between 30 and 209 mg per gram, you are risking that CRF will worsen. In this case, you are in the orange or red, depending on the stage. Now, when this level is over 300 mg per gram, well, this is bad. Being in the red is a reason for concern. In short, keep albuminuria or ACR under 30 in all the stages of CRF to slow down the progression and reduce the risk of ESRF. And you know what can really help with that? One essential nutrient. The next entry is something 8 out of 10 CRF sufferers are deficient in. This may directly cause proteinuria. To avoid that, consider vitamin D. Research has recently linked this nutrient to a significantly reduced severity of proteinuria among people in all the stages of CRF. We know today that this nutrient is way more important for lowering proteinuria than we ever imagined. The rate of low levels of this nutrient in people with CRF is incredibly high, and that's a problem. Not having enough of it in the body means that the nephrons are taking damage, often directly resulting in proteinuria. Now, the bright side is that finding ways to bring the levels of this vitamin back to normal means that proteinuria is going to go down very fast. In a recent study, just supplementing 2 micrograms of this resulted in a reduction in proteinuria levels of 34% in just 24 hours. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing and could make a huge difference for someone with CRF. Unfortunately, normalizing vitamin D levels is easily said than done. You need to also supplement certain other nutrients for it to work. And those in the advanced stages may even need a special form. I've explained all about these issues in my video up here. Watch it now for more. Okay, what could be even more powerful than a nutrient that drops proteinuria levels by 34% in just 24 hours? Well, a natural item that was able to completely solve the issue. Now, when it comes to protecting the nephrons, nothing seems to be as powerful as this last entry, especially in case of proteinuria. This is a 100% natural supplement which comes with one of the most powerful protecting properties I've ever seen. This is called Ganoderma lucidum. 
Now, let's see what makes it so special. According to recent research, Ganoderma protects and even repairs the outer membrane of the nephron, directly lowering proteinuria. Now, this is not something you see every day, but in this study on 14 participants, Ganoderma lucidum successfully suppressed proteinuria in all of these 14 people. Yes, you can see this here. All the participants of this study had significant improvement in GFR after the study, they had no more proteinuria. Now, this incredible discovery is one of the reasons why Ganoderma lucidum is approved in many Asian countries as a way to control various issues. Okay guys, if you want to know more about Ganoderma lucidum, I'll talk more in depth about it up here. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless.